Hello, my name is Shauna Kay, and I talk about psychedelics, spirituality, motherhood, life, pretty much an alternative woman who's complicated because I'm a professional, right? Come from a Christian background, grew up in the church, but you know, I have a bachelor's degree in business. I have a pension job. I'm respected in my field of work. I'm a working mom. We have back, uh, we're a military family that's retired. My husband's a stay at home. So in a sense, we're like that classic suburban family, but also that classic American family. So we're just overall well blended of all kinds of different things. So I like to dabble and talk about things that are like controversial. Things that people are either too afraid to touch on. And there are things that I specialize in, and that is natural, medicinal, botanicals, things that are nature's medicine that I've been studying for over a decade. And it all started with Kratom. And then of course it took off to CBD, marijuana, and the like. But on that note, not all those things are legal everywhere. So in this video, I will be talking and sharing with you some of my top favorite natural herbs or botanicals that you can find that are readily available and legal nationwide that are great Kratom alternatives for very similar effects, whether that be mood, pain relief, but the common thing that people seek Kratom for is mood. So that will be one of the main effects that these alternatives will be delivering on. Now, if you follow me, then there are already several videos that I share other these other things. So um, some of them might sound familiar. But in this video, I'll be summarizing those things for you. So you can find them all in this one video because sometimes it's helpful to know that there are alternatives because not all of us live in a state where Kratom is legal, unfortunately. And there are amazing people out there trying to make sure that's changed. Organizations like American Kratom Association. So show your support if you can because they're doing a great job lobbying for the plant, for the tree. So the very first thing that is an alternative to Kratom that is legal, and that is Makuna. Now Makuna is an herbal medicine and a nickname for it is called the magical velvet bean. It is known as nature's chill pill. It really focuses on like stress, even ADHD. It's like a natural ADHD minimizer in a sense. But many of the main benefits that it's well known for internationally, a lot of it mainly over in Indone India, even in traditional Chinese medicine, it's a coffee. And it just relaxes your mind, your body, your soul. Many consider it a powerful aphrodisiac and adaptogenic herb. Another legal kratom alternative is mulungu bark. Now this is a botanical tree that is native to Brazil and its various purposes has been known to help with pain, uh, aid in sleep, lower blood pressure, and help with depression, anxiety, and even seizures. Of course, when you get into that realm of things, it's best to just not talk about it because that's when you want a medical professional. The main thing is a lot of people use this for anxiety. So if you want to naturally relieve some of these tendons, you know, side, things that we might deal with in life, this is a nice alternative for an anxiousness, depression, even pain, which the other one, Mukuna, doesn't really help with pain at all. So this one does help with pain. So having that, if you're looking for one that's an alternative to Kratom that helps with pain, this, the Mulungu, is a great alternative with both 
stress relieving properties and pain relieving properties. It also has been known to help reduce inflammation and even help treat asthma symptoms. It may reduce the sensations of pain from nerve cells. So for me, this is one I take from time to time because I have a lot of nerve damage. I live with cervical neuropathy. So I like to switch my botanical medicinal herbs around and not just rely on one. Because again, dependency is a thing. So it's nice to switch it up. The third one is wild lettuce. This one is also known to help relieve some pain, such as arthritis, um, even help with cough and joint pain, which is nice. And of course, it it also it's also good for those of us who suffer with nerve pain, which is really hard to tackle. Wild lettuce isn't really effective when it comes to mood and depression and anxiety. So this one would just strictly be for pain. The next one is of course, kava. Kava is a very well known alternative to kratom, something that a lot of people like and enjoy. Of course, it's not as popular as kratom because it's not as strong, but it is a good alternative and it is legal nationwide. Of course, kava is really helpful for anxiety and mood overall. It's a very chill, botanical so it really helps with that it's not really effective for pain but kava is pretty much well known to help with anxiety and that is its main thing so combining kava in like wild lettuce are two very effective ways to kind of combat anxiety and pain if you can't consume kratom another favorite of mine is blue lotus now don't get stuck buying blue lotus from these vendors that will charge an arm and a leg for something you can get a crap ton of on eBay. Now you have to be careful, but that's where I buy mine. You can get a huge bag of blue lotus flower for very, very cheap. Stuff that most likely these vendors buy on eBay in bulk and then just section them out in their pretty little bags and then charge like 10 times the amount. It's just, it makes me so annoyed. But this is of course an Egyptian plant that's been used for thousands of years for helping with sleep. It's like a aphrodisiac, helps with mood, you know, psychoactive properties if you consume a lot of it, helps with anxiety. You know, I've done a few videos on it. Um, so it helps, it, it works on the dopamine, 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 whatever, a lot of people say it different ways. But giving you that kind of euphoric feeling, but you usually have to consume a little bit more of it, but that's usually the way with most things. You consume a little bit more for those psychoactive benefits and a little bit less for the minimizing those. For men, it even helps with erectile dysfunction. So if that's something, which, you know, I'm not gonna judge, we all get older, you know, age is a bitch. I see a future where women are just sipping blue lotus tea. Oh, wow, look at that guy. The next one is aquama seed. I did a video on aquama seeds. It was funny because I tried to go all out with those and I actually got the actual seeds, which was so hard to cut and break because I wanted to actually get the benefits of the actual seed. But you really have to buy a specific machine um, to get that. Uh, if you're able to go all out with that, I highly recommend it. But Aquama is amazing. There's like, really the list is endless. So that's why I'm gonna end my video with that. If you're gonna get any alternative to Kratom, that is probably the most widely applied folk medicine in the world that people turn to. It's a mixture of alkaloids and anti-inflammatory benefits. It's just well-loved and medicinal seed that amongst witches or herbologists around the world has been known to help with all different kinds of conditions and issues and medical shit. So like seriously, from like gastral issues to fevers, to jaundice, to depression, to anxiety, to pain, you name it. It's a multi-herb, multi-issue herb that aids in all kinds of things. Now you can get various things, versions of options with this, but the taste is pretty bitter. It's really harsh. So if you're gonna get the powder, 
you can't just dose it like Kratom because it is brutal. I've tried that myself and I highly do not recommend it. But it is great for pain relief. That's probably the number one thing for me is the pain relief. It's probably the closest to Kratom if you're going to find something that's an alternative when it comes to matching that kind of Kratom, uh, pain relief. It would be Aquama. It is very similar with acting on the opioid kind of activities in the mind. So it helps with fibromyalgia, migraines, arthritis. Um, it helps with withdrawals and side effects. So if you're getting off of hard shit, this is great. If you can't get to Kratom to help get off of those hard drugs, you can utilize Aquama and it will do the same thing for you, which is really great. It's an antioxidant and anti-diabetic. It's a sedative as well, so it really helps to minimize stress and anxiety. It helps with depression. It's pretty much an overall amazing medicinal herb that is really popular as an alternative and very close to Kratom as a next you know, level up or level down if you can't get to Kratom. So the benefits of that, a lot of vendors will sell Aquama seed or powder or whatever usually in caps because it's a very intense thing. So try to buy the caps form. Usually it's cheaper to buy the powder and then just cap it yourself. If you're able to mix it or toss it back quickly, just, you know, heads up, it's pretty intense. The regular dose is 10 grams to start out because again, it is a, a very strong herb. So try a small, of course that is with anything, I always start out small. When you start anything, especially with plants, you never know how your body's going to react just because it's nature's medicine. Just because it's natural does not mean your body is not, you know, doesn't mean your body's going to love it, right? We can be allergic or re react to certain things, even from nature. Kids are allergic to grass, right? So use caution, use your discretion. Of course, check with your doctor, whatever. This is just my opinion, okay? And hopefully this gives you a lot of information to work with and a lot of alternatives if Kratom is not something you can readily get where you're at. All right. Now, if you're interested in nootropics, which is another great alternative, but this one is just strictly herbs and natural medicinal medicine, I will do another video strictly on nootropics. So be on the lookout for that later. But I hope this was helpful. Until next time, I will see you guys later.